This is probably gonna be the most important basketball nutrition video you watch on my channel. So make sure you stick around to the end because this concept is extremely important. You've probably been in a situation before where you've tried a nutrition plan, you've tried a diet, and you stick to it pretty well for a week, two weeks, maybe even a couple of weeks or a couple of months. But at some point, it just gets too hard to stick to, so you fall off of it. You have a cheat meal, you go way overboard, and then you just never get back on track. You've probably beat yourself up pretty badly about it. Like, you get frustrated, like, why can't I do this? Why can't I stick to this plan? I need to do this so I can play better, but why can't I just stay disciplined and structured and follow this? And yes, discipline is necessary, structure is necessary. You have to do things you don't necessarily want to do to be successful in basketball, but when it comes to your nutrition, it shouldn't always feel like you're battling tooth and nail to try to stick to your plan. But that's what a lot of players do. They follow these strict diet plans that restrict the number of foods, the, the food groups that they can eat, and you end up in this little box of what you can and can't eat. And it gets hard, it gets frustrating over time because you wanna have that fast food once in a while, you wanna have your favorite restaurant once in a while, you wanna have your favorite dessert once in a while, and you feel like you can't have it on these sorts of nutrition plans. And that's why they really don't work, because even if you stick to something for a month, even if you stick to something for six months, but you fall off track and just completely go back to square one, if not worse, that plan didn't work for you no matter how long you stuck to it. So my point is that if you're finding yourself struggling really, really badly to stick to a nutrition plan, maybe it's not really you. Maybe it's the actual nutrition plan itself. And you need to reevaluate the actual nutrition plan. Because like I said, it does take some discipline. It does take some hard work. But it shouldn't always feel like you're battling to stay on track. After a while, it should start to become second nature. And you don't really have to think about it that much. So if you're finding yourself in this situation, look at your plan. Is it too strict? Are you cutting out all these foods that you don't even really need to cut out? If this is your first video on my channel, watch the other videos on my channel. You'll quickly figure out, oh yeah, I don't need to cut these out. In fact, I probably shouldn't, and that's probably hurting me if I'm cutting out all these different food groups, these carbohydrates, even processed foods to an extent can be helpful in some context. That's a different video though, because we know that the best nutrition plan is the one that you can actually stick to and stick to for longer than a couple of weeks or a couple of months at a time. It should be something whenever you undertake a nutrition plan and, and really get yourself going in that direction of dialing in your diet, it should be something that you can see yourself sticking to far into the future. Really, if someone asked you, can you stick to this for the rest of your life? The answer should be yes. You're not gonna stick to it for the rest of your life. You don't have to follow the exact plan forever, but the mindset behind it should be, yeah, this is something I can actually see myself sticking to far into the future. If it's not, it should either have a very specific purpose. For example, if someone was prepping for a bodybuilding show, which you're not, you're a basketball player, but if you were, yes, you're gonna have to get pretty restrictive, but that's for a set period of time. So you should have a specific goal that calls for that approach, or you should just be following a nutrition plan that is well balanced, includes your favorite foods in moderation, and is something you can see yourself sticking to far beyond a 12 week time frame. And when it comes to fat loss, there actually is research to show that it really doesn't matter whether you go low carb, high fat, high carb, low fat, doesn't really matter. When it comes to fat loss, the best nutritional approach is the one you can stick to. Now, you're a basketball player, so again, don't be going low carb. I'm not saying to go low carb, I'm just using that as an example to say that most of your nutrition choices come down to what you actually prefer. Again, there's concepts we need to implement based on specific populations of basketball players. Even if you prefer low carb, I really wouldn't recommend it because you need carbs to fuel your training, but hopefully you understand the thought process there. And once you understand that, this whole process gets a lot easier. You don't have to really struggle anymore. Sure, it takes some effort to get dialed in and have that structure and start tracking your food and do all that stuff. Sure, yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but in the long run, it gets easier and it becomes second nature. That's the thing. That's what separates a really good nutrition plan from a poor nutrition plan. And if you're looking to build a nutrition plan for muscle gain for fat loss i have playlists for both those things on the channel so i'll put them up on the screen right now make sure you go click on that watch through that whole playlist it literally takes you from start to finish through the entire process and of course if you enjoyed this one i'd appreciate it if you drop a like on the video and subscribe so i see you in the next video